Hello everybody, welcome back to In Your Face 2's and another episode of Having Fun. This is actually a short takes. So this is going to be a little short video. We're going to surprise my good buddy here, Scott Shaw. We're going to surprise him with something. I don't know if he's ever seen these before. He he probably has. He's a very knowledgeable cat. So <laughs> he, he's probably seen them before, but I want to get his reaction um, seeing these for the first time. Okay, so we're going to have him close his eyes. I'm going to get him out and we're going to surprise him. I'm going to show you guys what they are first. You can see. I'm not gonna say because he can hear me, but we can see what they are. All right, go ahead. Okay. They're right on now, your desk. Now, now remember, I'm a guy who usually the only surprises I get are from my doctors, and it's never good. So let's let's hope this is a nice surprise. Am I facing they're, it? Yeah, they're right in front of you, on the desk. Friend Barney Salt and Pepper Shakers. Friend Barney Salt and Pepper Shakers. Well, it certainly makes it clear that they're almost exactly the same designs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they are the same designs here. These are cool. In a weird way. They actually came in um, uh, Loot Crate. You know Loot Crate? Those little blind boxes that people get. So I get a, oh. it's a subscription box, and I get one every month. I got these a long time ago, and, it's and I keep forgetting. stuff that doesn't sell. Yeah, it's well, like well they, it's stuff they make specifically for the box. Oh, really? Yeah. It's stuff they make specifically for the box. Well, I'll tell you, the license on the Flintstones isn't much now. <laughs> I just thought, and I, when I got them, I, I remember I, I got them, and I was going to give them to you. That wasn't the only idea I ever had was giving you, and I keep forgetting to give them to you. So then I remembered this time, and I almost forgot him when I came when I was coming down here. I almost forgot him again. Well, thank you very much. So what do you think? What do you think of like the, 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 the even the drawings on them? Well, they're very, very much like off the model sheet. I'm, and these don't. Nobody drew these. I mean, this is, they have a lot more hair than they do in the model. Right. <laughs> and they're the same. Like you said, the same. It's the same mold, right? Yeah. The yeah. same head. So yeah. I usually think pepper and salt have different holes because salt would come out faster, but they just left them the same. You're right. Well. So who would you use for salt and who would you use for pepper? <laughs> Barney, my salt. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know the funniest thing to me is the Hanna-Barbera characters have the flaw of when you show them front, dead on front yeah. like this, they lose all volume <laughs> entirely. <laughs> and, and it's like the worst possible way to use them. You know, whenever I draw them, I try to kind of do them a little more off-center, just even if you're looking right into their face, like they're kind of, so it kind of suggests there's some volume there. I guess these have too much volume. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought Fred's got to be Pepper because he has black hair. And Barney would be salt because he has light hair. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm never going to put anything. You're not, are you gonna, you're not going to put anything in them. You're just going to put them on your, in your collection, right? Well, maybe I'll put smaller Flintstones collectors and collectibles inside of these. So, fill, some. fill them with the uh, Fruity Pebbles and, <laughs> and shake them up. Barney. Anyway. I, I just did an article about the history of Pebble cereal for Retro Fan Magazine. Mm -hmm. And the title is Barney. My diabetes. <laughs> you know, I finally saw how they make that cereal. Have you ever seen the video how they make the cereal? No, I tried not to think about it when I was doing those commercials. It's just, it's just they take rice, they cook it. After they cook it, they put this machine that flattens it out. They're all just flattened grains of rice. And then after they're flattened, of course they're cooked in color. So they come out different colors. And then after they've been flattened, they take them and then they put them through a machine that bakes them so hard that they get the little ridges. But anyway, it's not the, too bad. The one thing about them, there's well, no fruit involved. Yeah, I was going to say, because at the end of it, <laughs> at the end of it, then they go into the machine that coats them with the sugar and quote-unquote quote unquote flavor. <laughs> yeah, and we have to, we always had to kind of insinuate that each piece had its own flavor. No, they all have the same flavor yeah. and it doesn't taste like fruit. And uh, the one thing about it that I always thought was really creepy and it's just a, it's, it's really just a fact of, of how colors combine. You know, you eat the, eat the cocoa pebbles 
because they call it cocoa because there's no chocolate in it. But at least the milk is left brown and <laughs> tasty. Tastes like you, chocolate milk. You're done milk. with a bowl of pebble cereal, the milk is gray. Yeah. It looks like, like acid rain came down and filled the bowl. You know, I just like, had a bowl the other day, and yeah, it's true. Don't eat that crap. Please. I have to. I can't. I have to. <laughs> so that's it. He... Yeah, he he's never seen him before, and um, as you can see, you know, he's gonna add it to his uh, Flintstones collection. Anyway, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, have fun, and we'll see you soon.